ladies and gentlemen, at this time, let's meet the starting lineup for the East Ridge Raptors. In goal this evening, number 29, Hello, Jack hello, Rocket. ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to beautiful Aldridge Arena Actually, here on the Rocket East side of St. Paul, Minnesota, where we have the White Bear Lake Bears taking on the East Ridge Raptors. This is a conference matchup. It should be a barn burner, as is the usual here at Aldridge Arena. I am your commentator, Earnhardt Michael Jaworski. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a great matchup. White Bear Lake comes into tonight 9-2. They're fresh off of a 2-1 victory against the Tartan Titans. And the East Ridge Rappers come to this one 6-5. They are fresh off of a 4-3 win at Egan. So both teams are on a winning streak here. And for one of these teams, that winning streak is going to come to an end. We'll take a look at the tail of the tape here. White Bear Lake just averaging almost five goals a game to the 3.2 of East Ridge. Eastridge averaging 3.4 goals against to the Bears 2.6. The Bears 3 and 1 at home this year. And Eastridge with 3 and 2 on the road. Anytime you can get a win on the road, it is key to your season. As we are just moments away from the opening puck drop here from Aldridge Arena. Take a look at our two goal tenders, our two net minders. For White Bear Lake, we got Leo Gabriel. He's six and two on the year, been the number one goaltender for the Bears. And Jack Hodgins for the Raptors. 0.919 save percentage, Jack Hodges. Six and four, he's gotten all but one start this year. He's been the go-to for head coach Dustin Vogelsang of the East Ridge Raptors. Vogelsang in his fifth year with Eastridge and for the head coach for White Bear Lake, it's Tim Sager. He's in his 18th year, Sager has over 300 wins in his career with the Orange and Black. We'll see if he can add another one here, but it's gonna, we're gonna get going here right out of the gate. It's gonna be Nolan Road on the faceoff for the Bears. And we're underway from Aldridge. Working for it is Eastridge, Grant Cohen working in the corner. Back to the point of Stouffer. Stouffer, that's going to shift up high and into the netting and 15 seconds in, ladies and gents, we have our first stoppage. I'm curious to see how much pressure this Eastridge Raptors team is going to come out of the gate with. As the Bears seem to, the stat on paper, the Bears seem to be the better team, but you never know with East Ridge Raptors. This team really is a coin flip. Stouffer can't hold his own, trickles through his legs. Lead Jack Elliott to corral. Eden Welsh dump it in for the Bears. Roach trying to work it down low. Shot goes just through the crease. So if they can get it back middle, Davis Polifka now. For Easter, to try to dump it up ice, gets deflected in front, kicks it through the skate, it's gonna be the Lanahan. He can't get anything going. And now the Raptors go for a change. Lady, here's Grant Cohen, shot high, hits the glass. Cohen leads the Raptors in points this year with 23. A shot by Michael Delaney. Easy save there for Jack Hodges as he gets his first save of the night. East Ridge in the all black with a little bit of gold trim and for the White Bear Lake Bears, they are in the white with the black numbers and orange trim. Here at Aldridge, Raptors will win the face off pin along the boards. Going to be Delaney to hold it in. Center an attempt, not going to connect with the Bears. Twisting shot by Olsen. He can't find it to go through. And we see a high clear. Doesn't hit the Raptors here at Aldridge. So, well, the Raptors are kind of low, so you have to watch out for those high clears. Now the Bears look to go the, away, the other way with it. Icing waved off. Brady Borgstad in the corner. Bears try to work it to the point. 
Works that pocket picked in front, and Hodgins will cover it up, not taking any chances. As Borkstad, 18 points on the year. Uh, drafted by the New Mexico Ice Wolves of the North American Hockey League. So Borkstad has some more hockey playing in his career down the line. Bears are going to win the faceoff. Back to Noah Driscoll. Driscoll's going to dump it down to the corner. Devin Willett to pick it up. He's going to get help with, by Kyle Gibson. Oh. Oh. Grabs it, they take it away. Hillmeyer's just going to chip it up ice, but the Bears are going to pick it off at their own blue line. They're going to dump it back in. Right along the boards, Eastwards are going to come up with it. Have to go around their own net once again. Second time to charm, they're going to go for a low clear on the breakout. It's going to get called for icing. There's a little too much on the pass from Jake Gonzaga, the junior defenseman. Good crowd on tap here at Aldridge. Plenty of White Bear Lake fans, plenty of Raptor fans in the building. Here we see the first line for the Bears back out. The road, Welch, and Stannis. as Distad dumps it back in. Bear takes a tumble, he seems to be all right. He's sure gonna try to flip the rink here, go to the other way with it. Couple of tic-tac-toe passes, nice passing by Eastridge. We'll see if they can get it through neutral ice, they do. Bounces off a couple of bears. Well, I'll cough one's up. And Leo Gabriel loses it in his paddings for a moment. Almost gave up a second chance opportunity. That was the best look the Raptors have had all period long. First bit of offense they get, really. And for Eastridge, it'll be their second line out. Jack Thoucher on the faceoff die. Just got Ricky Lanahan and Grant Cohen. Two Cohens on the Raptors, got Blake Cohen the sophomore, and Grant Cohen, the senior. Always fun to see a pair of brothers on a team. Lady going to work it up to Lanahan. Lanahan can't clear. Borg set down in the corner. Doing the dirty work, drops his stick. Gets it up, Galhan down low. And Galhan just puts a slow shot on. Didn't get any height on it. Easy save for Jack Hodgins. Hodgins, 2.9 goals against. Looking solid so far here in the opening minutes. As for Galhan, just kind of a no-look shot trying to catch Hodgins off guard. But he was ready. Raptors win the faceoff, but Bears will collect in their own end. Skating up by says Olsen. Tried to go through a couple of Raptors. Gets shoved off. By Brandon Muff. Wiper doing a good job of keeping possession of the puck. Borkstrap, toe drag attempt, not there. Driscoll cuts off the clear attempt. Sets us the point as the Raptors a little bunched up. Now no Norman. Gonna try to clear it down to the corner. Can't get there. It's gonna be a foot race. Bears will pick it up. Driscoll with it. Up oh, ice now the Raptors with the dump and change. Driscoll again trying to clear. Gets it up to Gibson. Gibson challenge along the boards from across the blue line and into the White Bear Lake bench. So we'll have a faceoff just outside the Bears defensive end here. 12 22 left to play in the opening frame. It'll be Hank Garrett on the faceoff for the Raptors. Here it can't win it. Road sends it back, and the Bears wheel around. They rush the other way. Welch loses the handle on, has to go to the corner. Shot right into the glove. 
of Hodgins off of the stick of Bell Isle. Bell Isle, a also, another New Mexico Ice Wolves draft pick in the NAHL. Nolan Road on the faceoff for White Bear. Road quick shot on. Slashes through the crease, can't find the back of the net. Good look for the junior forward. Bears cycle it along the corner, trying to get to the point. Button hooding back his road. Trying to make space. Rappers cut him off. Welch has it. Welch tries to not make a Raptor. Not going to happen. And Icing does not get waved off. We'll go back to the Eastern Raptors' end. 11.42 remain. Raptors had a shaky start of the year going one and four in their first five, but since then, they've gone five and one, really turning their season around. Shot from the point of Gallatin, well wide. Gallatin collects up top, redirect down low. Nothing doing just yet. That could pop up into the netting. We'll have another whistle blow. White Bears started the season four and two, and since then they've gone on a five game winning streak over Forest Lake, Totino Grace, Moundsview, Forest Lake once more, and Tartan. So both teams on a bit of a hot streak here, but unfortunately one of them's gonna have to lose the streak. We'll see which one it is. In about an hour and a half time. Going to be accurately trying to work this one around the corner. We see the ref get in the way. Good physical play there by the Raptors. They break it out. Battle right in front of the benches here. And full players slashing at it. Galton almost getting called for a cross check there. A couple of the coaches of Easteridge wanted, wanted it. They're not going to get it. Airville works it up ice to a teammate who wasn't ready. Caught in the skates, swatted down Gallatin with it. Feeds it up to Eckerly. And Bears get called for offsides as Willett and Norman couldn't get in sync. Just about seven minutes gone here in the opening frame. Yet to find our opening goal scorer. Between the Bears and the Raptors. Will be Noah Norman on the faceoff. Sophomore forward gonna win it back. First goal up to Gibson. Will be Norman to chase it down. Now it's Gonzaga with it. Martha's clearing attempt gets shut down. Raptors have to try again. Aggressive forecheck here from the third line of the Bears. Hodges is going to cover up. Get his team to reset here as the Bears' forecheck was closing in and they're looking to strike. First line for the Bears back out was the second line for the Raptors. Bears will win it back. Up to road. And Stannis just fanned on the shot. Redirect in front, still loose. Road still trying to work it through, can't get it to go. Now Raptors rush the other way. Shut down, Welch has it. Which for a pick in front. Road to Welch just hopped over a stick. And a great chance for the Bears going to go to the wayside. They get back on sides and get that four check locked and loaded. And Icing gets waved off here. Joe Belisle, he almost gets knocked down. This dad with it working it around. 
Good moves there by Belle Isle. Chipped up ice, gonna be chased down by Eastridge. Jake Gonzaga with it. Pumps the brakes, goes back the other way. Up ice looking for Elaine is Cohen. Cohen can't wrap it around a bear, so Belle Isle will pick it back up. Hit to Eckerly. Eckerly walks in. Drop pass. Welch waits. Fires doesn't make it through. Second chance is wide. Eckerly down low. Road. Goes to the other corner. Chases it down. Got Borg set out with him. Road. Space. Time. Backdoor pass. Fired and scored. Aiden Welch lurking in the shadows on the back door. And the captain puts the Bears on the board first. Off of a great backdoor feed by Nolan Rowe. Sweet look. See Rowe waiting. Just waits out the defense and he gets an open lane and Welch just kind of waiting for the buck to come to him and he buries it. And just about halfway through the first period, the Bears get on the board. They were looking for another, but they couldn't collect the puck. Swatted down by Eastridge. Hole widen in pursuit. Why'd you go pick up the puck? Backhand pass right into the slot. Didn't have a teammate there. Racing the other way is Borkstad. Borkstad down low. Trailer loses the puck of Charlie Olsen. Olsen, who has seven goals on the year, just couldn't handle it. As he most certainly couldn't made it 2-0 for White Bear. The line changes for both sides. White Bear has to go back and forth here to break out. It'll be Cohen to cut it off. As touch pass is not doing a whole lot for either side. Bears still maintain possession. Working it out, Driscoll. He's gonna dump it in. Gibson will give chase. Eastridge working it up. Dump attempt there by Thoucher. Bears through neutral ice. And both teams just kind of dumping both ways, trying to get something to go. Nothing's going to happen. Jack Hodges is going to collect the puck, shut it down. And we'll have a quick stoppage in play here. Nolan Road on the faceoff for the Bears. He's a St. Cloud State commit. So he will be playing for the St. Cloud State Huskies in a few years' time. Offside just barely for Eastridge. Brandon Muff can't believe it. That was a good odd man rush for Eastridge. That's just going to get shut down. And we'll have another faceoff right in front of us here, right in front of the broadcast booth here at Aldridge. Welch looking to play dump and chase. He's going to lose the puck. Road picks it up, tries to go back to the corner, but had a Raptor right there. Swatted back in by Belle Isle. Welch down low. Stannis is going to give it back to Distat. Road tried to get down to Welch in the corner. Going to get picked off. Eastridge looking to go the other way. Knudsen dumped it down. Swatted in by Hillmeyer. Bell Isle was hesitant on that clear attempt. Gets it to go through. Stannis plays Chase. Scrum along the boards. Olsen has it. Center attempt. Saved Borkstad. Net comes off. It's mooring, it seems. 
and play will be called dead. Brady Borstad had a great look. This is be Olsen. Great pass there by Olsen. Borstad makes contact with it, even though it's Brady Newton for Eastridge to disrupt the pass. Galton shot going to get deflected up into the net and we'll have another face off here. Took a couple of seconds off the clock. Eastridge making a small line change. Getting the correct personnel out of the ice. Olsen unable to win the draw for the Bears. Jack Elliott tried to clear. Is unable to do so. Low percentage angle shotgun gets sent away by Hodgins. And the clears for Easter is just not in sync with their forwards at the moment. As we're going to see an icing attempt by East Ridge. That's going to get waved off. Good pressure there by Lanahan. Got some good passing here by White Bear. Olsen dumps it and knocks a player down. Showing off a bit of strength is Charlie Olsen. And Eastridge looking to circle out. But everywhere they go, they are met by the Bears. Cross ice feed fanned on by Borstad. Had everything dialed in but the shot. Cohen couldn't clear. Now he does as a failed drop pass by the Bears, being a little too fancy with it. Just under four minutes remain here in the opening period. Blake Cohen. Up ice to his brother, shot on. Gonna get deflected away by Leo Gabriel. To the point that gets deflected high. Shot by Eastridge. Oh, just keeping it in is Blake Lady. Now Eastridge getting some offensive zone time for what feels like the first time in a while. Lady's going to get there again. Into the corner is Muth. Muth working around, loses the handle on it. Lady circles back. It's that up by his. Clearing attempt doesn't go through. Belle Isle around one. Has a Welch waiting in the middle. That's just deflected up by good heads up play there by Hodgins. Cohen waiting for a teammate to zoom past. Couldn't find anyone. Welch cuts inside. Goes back to Belle Isle. Welch down to the corner. Belle Isle had to get down low to hold it in. Wasn't able to do so. And Bears are going to get called off sides with 2.31 remaining here. As Eastridge, for the first time in a while, they were able to breathe a little, get off, get off their heels on defense. Try to get some offensive chances going, but as soon as they got it, got a chance, it was shut down. Shot by Jack Stannis, immediately going to get shut down. Nolan Rowe trying to rough up a couple of Raptors. But a quick pass out to Stannis. Good release. But it was right to the breadbasket of Hodgins. Rowe wins the faceoff, collects it himself. Loses the handle on, and the East Ridge goes the other way. Ricky Lanahan around Belle Isle. He has two Bears on him. Belle Isle and Road. Road really a 200 foot player here. This stat. Backdoor, what a save! Belle Isle had a wide open net. Couldn't bury. Cohen. Indorf goes off the crossbar. He had everything he could have wanted, just couldn't find the back of the net. He had Gabriel beat, but it still was not enough. 
the White Bear gonna get called for icing here. And wow, did the tempo explode here in the last minute. White Bear had a phenomenal chance, they couldn't finish. The Raptors had almost an even better chance and they couldn't find the back of the net. Face off to Gabriel's left will be won by Eastridge. Gabriel gonna collect it once more. Minute 38 remain. As it'll be Voucher on the face off for Eastridge. Bear gets crunched along the boards, intercept the pass left right in the slot. And Eckerly will hunt it down, put it back in the corner. Delaney down low. Borkset picks it up. Try to find something interior, can't find it. Button hooks back. Which tries to get it to Delaney, that gets intercepted. Bears couldn't dump it in. Final minute here in the first period. Eastridge stretch pass up to Polifka. He's just going to touch. Bears go the other way. But Eastridge will collect here. Player gets crunched along the boards. Dumped down by Stouffer. Eastridge just called for offside. Bears drop possession of the puck. Cohen, cross ice pass just behind his teammate. Wild shot by Polifko, well wide into the corner. Knutson had a chance on it, lost the handle, and we'll have icing with 10 seconds remaining here. So we'll see if Eastridge has something drawn up here. In the final 10 seconds. Will be Brady Knutson on the faceoff draw for Eastridge. Knutson wins it back. Polifka shot right to the pads of Gabriel. Takes four seconds off the clock. We'll have another go at it here in the first period. Cohen will be on the draw. Looks like he's trying to get this back to Prolifka. Bears win the draw, and that's going to be the first period. White Bear leads 1-0 off of the goal from Aiden Welch. Both teams have battled, but we've yet to find a victor. That's why we play three periods of hockey. One down, two to go. We'll catch a second period after the break. has changed how we hang with our girls. Now it's time to take the first step that lets us get back to girls tripping instead of solo sipping. Before we can safely come together, we need the facts. As COVID-19 vaccines become available, you may have questions. Should I get it? Is it safe? Should I wait? It's smart to question. Now get the facts at GetVaccineAnswers.org so you can make an informed decision when vaccines are available to you. Every day. Every day. Millions of people are connecting. And even though we're overcoming obstacles, watching each other's backs, and banding together, we should still make an effort. We should still make an effort to get to know each other on a deeper level. Father. Cosplayer. Mentor. Actor. It's time we take a step forward. It's time we take a step forward. Come together and discover how accepting our differences can, can make, make us stronger. stronger. People do some pretty cool things in their 40s and 50s. Why should saving for retirement be any different? I mean, they go back to college, learn new instruments, start skateboarding, 
<laughs> okay, maybe that one's not for everybody, but saving for retirement is. With aceyourretirement.org, you can get on track with your retirement savings no matter your age. Just have a three-minute chat with Avo, the friendly digital retirement coach from AARP. You'll get personalized recommendations based on your input that are easy to understand and work with your lifestyle. It's quick, easy, and free. Plus, it's sponsored by AARP, so you know they got your back. Snarly move, Dad. Thanks, sweetie. So wherever you are in your retirement savings journey, head to aceyourretirement.org and start chatting with Avo today. That's aceyourretirement.org. When we play, we're moving through life. Lately, we haven't been moving enough. An estimated 80% of Americans aren't getting their recommended daily physical activity. This is a health crisis, and the solution is in our hands and our feet. It's on our shoulders. It's on our backs. It's in our souls. It's time to move and keep moving, America, wherever you are, however you can. Movement reduces your risk of diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. It improves your brain function, pain management, and immune system. And when you need help, physical therapists and physical therapist assistants are by your side, increasing your strength and mobility and improving your quality of life through prescribed exercise and teamwork. Because we are meant to climb, to dance, to soar, to thrive. Choose to move. Choose physical therapy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Aldridge Arena here in the first intermission between the White Bear Lake Bears and the East Ridge Rappers. White Bear Lake currently up 1-0. Over East Ridge, it's been a tight battle. White Bear had a lot of chances. This game could be more than just 1-0. But Jack Hodges from East Ridge has stood tall so far. And for East Ridge, they've gotten a couple chances as well. They've majorly been stuck playing defense here. And here we'll see the first goal. Welch, backdoor feed to Aiden Welch, who's left all by himself. He's going to find the back of the net. Great feed there from Nolan Road as well. And then here's another great chance from Jack Stannis. One-on-one -on -one with Hodges. Hodges wins out in that bout. And then here, Grant Cohen. Great feed, try to go top shelf, just a little too much on it. Cohen, 11 goals on the year, could not find number 12. And those were our first period highlights. Stats 14 to five in favor of the Bears. That lines up just about well with what I have seen so far. Bears, I would assume, have the majority of the puck time. And neither team has been on the power play. Eastridge does have the better power play compared to the Bears. Eastridge converting at 28% on the year to the Bears, 21%. And now we'll take a look at the Suburban East, White Bear Lake, four and one on the year in the Suburban East, nine and two overall, Creek and Darren Hall, solid 10 and four. They're undefeated in conference playing Eastridge. We'll say about mid-pack, six and five, two and three in the conference. Plenty of work to do for Eastridge. But you know, they're still in the hunt. They're still five points out of 
first place. Still a lot of hockey left to go here, and we'll say the second half of the season after Christmas. Still have about a month and a half of play here. And to me, after Christmas is where teams are really make or break. We'll take a look at the top 20. White Bear Lake sitting at 13th. Stillwater just ahead of them. Creek and Darren Hall sitting at number seven, defending champs Andover at sixth. Some new faces in the top five. You got Chan Hassan, 12 and one. They have been really solid. Rogers knocking on the door. They're ninth, eight, two and two. And on the east side, it's really White Bear and Stillwater here. In the top 20, Spuds at six and six. They're looking to turn their season around. Lakeville South, a perennial state contender, five and three so far. It's not the best start for the Lakeville South Cougars at number 11. But again, still a lot of hockey left to go. Champlin Park at 16. My good college buddy, Devin, went to Champlin Park. Champlin Park took down the Hill Murray Pioneers earlier in the year and probably won the biggest upset so far. And we'll take a look at one, probably one of the better looks so far for White Barrel Lake was Joe Belisle had a wide open net. Hodgins is all over the place, but still gets a glove on it. And then right after that, it was the chance from Grant Cohen in Eastridge. And with that, Zamboni's just about done clearing the ice. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna throw it to another short break. And when we come back, it'll be the second period between the Raptors and the Bears. Don't go away. I am so glad you ladies are here. You each have your own rooms. Thank you. Get settled in. I'll call you for dinner. Adopting teen sisters? It's a lot. Girls, you're gonna be late. Uh, you want breakfast? No thanks, we're good. They're always in their own world. Once you get there, twice the work, twice the surprises. Just try it. <laughs> but if you think of it that way, they're also twice as fulfilling. I think you should ask her yourself. Is it okay to call you mom? Of course you can. I taught for 20 years, but I started forgetting my lectures. Eventually, he had to quit. My therapist recommended we go to the doctor. The early Alzheimer's diagnosis allowed us to take control of the situation. He's been such a positive force and, and so loving. Thank you. You're welcome. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff. Like making sure your kids are in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right at NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome. Pre-diabetes does. One in three adults has prediabetes. And you could be one of them. There are usually no signs for prediabetes. So it's important to understand your risk. With early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. And you can change the outcome. Take the one-minute pre-diabetes risk test today. Go to doihaveprediabetes.org. There! Uh, what do we 
we do? You may not be able to plan ahead for a ghost encounter. Under the dining table now! But you can plan ahead for natural disasters. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Maybe it's the apocalypse. Know your evacuation routes and decide on a safe emergency meeting location. Here? I know. What a big Orlando. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. So pass the Proton Pack to the next generation and visit ready.gov plan to get started. Good things grow here. Some are delicious. All are essential. Healthy soil is not only necessary for growing nutrient-dense food, but it's the key to growing other good things too. Like clean water, clean air, abundant wildlife, vibrant rural communities, and profitable family farms. Today, more and more South Dakota farmers and ranchers are breathing new life into this living and life-giving treasure by using cover crops, no-till planting, and by using diverse cropping rotations and grazing animals, all of which feed soil microbes and protect their underground habitat. South Dakotans love healthy soil because we know it's where good things grow. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Aldridge Arena here on the Rocket East side of St. Paul. Where it'll be period two between the White Bear Lake Bears and the East Ridge Raptors. White Bear Lake currently leading after 17 minutes. one nothing by the hands of Aiden Welch. Eastern Raptors have played a tight game so far, and I found out during the intermission that Jack Hodges has a handful of 40-plus save games in his belt so far this season. Brady works that shot well wide. Good pressure there by Polifka to force it wide. Cohen, shot ripped one well into the corner, deflected off of Gabriel. Now Eastridge looking to go the other way. Gonna get cut off by Delaney in the corner. He's scrumming with Polifka has Brady Bork said to help out to the point of Belle Isle. Down low, Distad will cut it off. Put it back into the corner. Olsen in pursuit. Delaney can't get the handle on it. Eastridge looking to go the other way. They're gonna dump down, change and chase as it's the short change here in the second period. Bears play a little hot potato with it. Well, it's will chip it up ice. Road isn't there right away. And it's gonna be a penalty on the Bears here. I think it's gonna be Nolan Road. We'll see what the call is. There's gonna be a slash on Road. So Eastridge gonna go on the power play. Eastridge 28% on the power play this year, 71% for White Bear Lake on the penalty kill. So we'll see what the Raptors can do on the man advantage. Cohen gonna collect it along the boards. Raptors struggling to get it out. Blake Cohen gets it, he's gonna dump it back to the far corner. Gallatin pins Raptor along the boards. Cohen to Lady, back to the older Cohen. Cohen, wait, shoots, fires, that's deflected off a of Bears stick in front. And we'll have a face off to Gabriel's left here. Good look by Cohen, but just couldn't get it through the traffic. As you see, a White Bear Lake, 29 for 41. Raptors able to win the draw. Back to Cohen, who can't hold the zone. Knutson. Gonna try to run this down, but Bork said right there. Hits his own teammate back into the end. Knutson along the wall. Cohen. Cohen stutters back to Cohen on the point. Down low. Interior shot chipped. Right into the glove of Gabriel. He had to adjust mid windmill. 
This is a bleed that came off the stick of Blake Cohen. And we're going to see the same power play unit out for Eastridge. Bears make another change here in their penalty kill personnel. Face off one by Thoucher. Newton shot redirected up front wide. Lady down to the corner. Newton holds. Shot hit a bear in front. Newton on the bumper. Cohen can't hold. Cohen, a workhorse at his teammate offside. Just didn't have his head up. As Jack Thoucher was struggling to get out of the zone. So we'll have a face-off with 39 seconds here on the power play, just outside of the White Bear Lake defensive end. Brandon Moth on the draw for Eastridge. He'll win it back, and Zaga collects. Up the Prolifka. Bears really struggling to get anything going. Prolifka on the point. Swims it across to Gonzaga. Eastridge really working the perimeter here. Can't get anything inside. Prolifka. Back in. What a feed by Lanahan. Shooting couldn't find the back of the net. Final six seconds here. Prolifka down low. Swing attempt. Still in the low slot. Welch will pick it up. Welch walks in. Splits the defenders, gets pushed to the corner. And that'll do it for the East Ridge power play. Had a plethora of chances. Just unable to score. Road work and then pass to nobody. And go the other way. There's a wide and dumped it in. Both of the handle on the dodge and check road. Has Stannis with him. Went cross ice for Atkins. Foot race attempt. Shot on just wide. What a great look. For Easter, it's just another great look where they can't finish it off. Drop pass attempt. Could not connect. Eastridge a little more consistent here. Road with it, time space, shot all wide. Had to wrap it around a defenseman. 12-33 here in the first period, in the second period. Bears looking to go the other way. Olsen cuts inside, sliding shot, gonna go well wide. Now Eastridge looking to clear. Soft pass by Bell Isle. Over to Distad, back into the Raptor end. And the Raptors will have another chance to clear, but Delaney's going to say otherwise. Olsen right in the slot. Didn't get all of the shots, just kind of went just wide. As Olsen almost feel like he is due for one. Delaney backdoor shot, and it's going to get cleaned up by Brady Borkstad. Just like that. Delaney with the initial shot. Hodgins had it covered. But Borgstad there to clean up. And the Bears lead 2-0. And I was going to say it only feels like a matter of time. As I felt like Charlie Olsen has just been oh so close to finding the back of the net. But it's its line mates Delaney and Borgstad to put it in the back of the net. And now Eastridge now down by two. They have to go back to the drawing board. Muth with it. Cuts back inside. Shot trying to pick the corner. A little high, a little wide. We have to try again next time. And White Bear will dump and chase its lady in the corner. Wraps it around. Raptors can't handle it now. Gallatin working around his own netminder. Four check for Eastridge. Solid for a moment. They're able to dump it back in. But crisp, clean passing for the Bears. Going to work out. Welch with it. He's going to button hook, collect. 
Decides to dump it back into the corner. Driscoll. Had it for a moment, and Ison will get called here. As Bears defenseman just outside the center ice line. So we will go down to Leo Gabriel's right. Raptors unable to win the faceoff. Bears will look to rush the other way. Bob and Weaven, Norman has it. Looks to go inside for Gibson, but that got cut off. Driscoll able to jump up, hold the zone. He's going to get called for a hand pass. As that's going to send us just outside the zone. Or actually, no, it'll send us back down to the White Bear Lake end here. Driscoll conversing with the ref here about why it was called a hand pass. Scrum along just about the half wall. Lost in the skates. Bears come up with it for a moment. Driscoll has it. Swung around. Bears skated the neutral ice. Gibson. Lost it for a moment. Has to get back on sides. Bears touch up. Raptors look to break out. Belle Isle collects right in front of his bench and dumps it back down. He's reached, finally able to get a clear to go through up to Hillmeyer. He's pinned along the boards, coughs up the puck. Bears have numbers the other way. Interior tip, what a save there by Hodgins. As he had to dive over to get to it. Heads up pass through the skate of Nico Zuber. Driscoll will slap this aside for Prolifka. Prolifka is a body by Olsen. Porkset had another attempt. That went through his stick. And White Bear controls once more. Belle Isle. Back to Distead. Back to Belle Isle. Going to get picked up by a Raptor. And Grant Cohen. Good poke check there. Knutson had it. He should look and go the other way. Cohen almost gets called for a slash prized. Not going to get called. Delaney just looking to slow it down. Wait for things to open up. Finds his captain in Borgstad. Olsen finds Delaney. Could have some help. Drop pass, shot. Not going to find its way through. Brady Borkside was on the back door, waiting to tap that one home, but accurately just could not find it. Galton skates in with speed. Drop pass wide from Welch. Why didn't look to go the other way? He gets shrugged off by a bear, forced to give up the puck. Rising shot by Stan is going to get collected by Hodgins. And we'll have a stop to play with 8.20 remaining here in the second period. Faceoff will be to Hodgins left. Nolan Road on the faceoff for White Bear. Road unable to win it back. Eastridge looking to go the other way. Interior pass just on net. Had Muth line in waiting. Shot fired, deflected away by Lady. Muth putting a shoulder up, trying to fork this puck away from White Bear. Unable to do so. Voucher working around Prolifka. Shot on deflected in front, took a crazy bounce off of Cohen. 
as Gabriel is going one way, puck went the other. He's lucky it went wide. Well, tried to skate it through his teammates. Nothing doing there. Initial shot at them, gonna go wide. Eastridge looking to work around the back wall. Thoucher cuts in. Behind that, Eastridge trying to get something going, but just good hands by Nolan Road to make space. Stannis shot deflected. Went off the glass, not the netting. We continue to play seven minutes here in the second period. Thoucher, pass intercepted by Welch. Welch goes skating and try to get it back to Belle Isle. That's going to get called for offsides. Again, more good chances for Eastridge. They're knocking on the door but can't break down the hinges here. And for White Bear Lake, it's been more of the same heavy possession. A lot of offensive zone time, getting some solid shots in. But Jack Hodgins has almost been playing on his head here. As you see, Jack Stouffer get on the ice. Bears win the faceoff draw from Olsen. Back to Distad. Delaney cross ice feet, almost goes back straight back to Delaney. Bell, Bell Isle waits, just puts it back in the corner for Gonzaga. Eastridge looking to find a way out. That's not going to, Icing will get waved off here. It's deflected off of a bear player down ice. Distad skates it in, rising shot over the glove of Hodgins. Bell in the corner, he's gonna get pestered by a couple of Raptors. Into the circle, Delaney bumper behind the net goes up to the point. Shot deflected off of a Raptor, Hodgins didn't see it. Into the low slot. Bokesad finds the back of the net. Great screen by the Bears up front. And uh, Borgsad gets his second. To put the Bears up by three. Here late in the second. Brady Borgsad now has 20 points on the year. Nine goals, 11 assists, and for Borgsad, a little bit of time, a little bit of space. Uses Delaney as a screen up front, Hodgins. It's just your cop doing a rock in the hard place. You can't see the puck. And for Eastridge, that mountain gets a little bit taller. So plenty of hockey left to find to get on the board. Will it? Up to Gibson. Gibson will walk this in. Back to Willett, chip shot. Hodges was ready, but he had to be quick, and he was. 5.21 remain here in the second period. White Bear Lake now up by three. A goal from Aiden Welch and two from Brady Borgstad is what the Bears have put up so far. Eastridge still looking to get on the board. Shot takes a crazy bounce, gets kicked in a skate. Will it work it behind the net? Button hooks back, runs into his teammate of Norman. And so that puck is going to bounce out. Should cleared it for a moment. But they're going to cut this back in. Third line for the Bears. Solid so far. Shot going to go to the corner. Galton shot blocked up high by Lanahan. And Lanahan will ice it down. <laughs> and just as quickly, Gabriel sent it back down. The length of the ice to the faceoff circle. White Bear Lake 4 1 0 when leading after the first period. Anytime you are in the driver's seat, you are very comfortable. Road on the draw. 
Wins it back almost in the back. And then a set play. Road to Stannis, the Welch back door. I love the look of that. White Bear just unable to convert. Blake Cone gets pushed off the butt. Driscoll will wield around. Touch pass up to the point. Eastridge trying to hold the zone. Shot going to get pushed away. Knudsen shot. Gabriel lost it for a moment. Now White Bear looking clear. Road going to try to go glassing out. Raptor defender lost it. Now both teams trying to go back and forth. Bears settle things down. As White Bear like very methodical when breaking out of their own half. Cohen shot, simple save. 3-2 rush the other way for White Bear. Road shot in front. Sitting in the crease. Hodgins had his back turned to it. Bell Isle off the boards to himself. Interior. Road deflected wide. Road again. Oh, and Hodgins is down. Not sure what just happened. Might have taken a stick up high. As he takes a moment to collect himself. Talk to the referee. As... The trainer on staff will trot over to see what happened. Rowe takes this shot, deflected away. Oh, he takes the stick right under the right under the mask. The stick of Jack Stannis. Caught him under the neck protector and everything. I'm sure that wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world. But Hodgins seems to shake it off. He's Back in the play, had his cage rattled a little bit there. Unintended, we're back in play. Belle Isle works it around. That's Distad on the other side. Delaney with it. Nolan and Delaney in the corner. Lady trying to work it out. Olsen shot, deflected away. And Bears will pick it back up at neutral ice. Bell Isle. With wind in his sails, shots fires right into the bread basket of Hodgins. And we'll have a stoppage with 2.50 to go here in the first period. In the second period again. That's the second time we've done that tonight. And Bell Isle just flies in. And puts a ripper of a shot on. Bell Isle, four goals. 10 assists on the year so far. Will be Nolan Road on the drop. Road able to win it back. Gets it to Galton. Going to be a foot race. Icing waved off. Looks like Eckerly will corral this one. Runs into a couple of Raptors. Good four check. Trying to cut it inside. Gabriel gets down low. He'll cover it up. As the Raptors tried to pull a fast one, but Gabriel was right there to continue to stagnate the Raptors here. Will be Jack Thoucher, the freshman, the senior forward, I should say. He'll win it back. Shot right into the glove of Gabriel, initially drops it, covers it back up. 225 remain here in the second period. Making sure I say it enough time so I get it right. Good game so far. Wiper League leads 3 0. Belle Isle with it. He'll wait. Clear it up to Delaney at his back turn. And it will be icing as I'm surprised. I thought that went right past Michael Delaney, but we will have. Icy nonetheless. These years again, they've got plenty of chances so far here in the second period. Just unable to hit Pater. Newton on the drop. 
Gets beat out. Bell Isle trying to make some space for himself. Neutralized play Knudsen. Cohen gets knocked down. No call. It's pushed to the corner by Bell Isle. Bears break out Delaney. Tries to go inside out. That will get deflected. Bork said right there, it skips over his blade. He searched. Could have a rush going the other way. Knudsen. Wait, shots, fires just in front of his intended target of Cohen. And a simple shot will be saved by Gabriel and once more, Eastridge, you are oh so close. Who shows how stout Gabriel is, he laughs it off, chatting with the ref. Face off will be to Gabriel's left. Easter J will win the draw. Knutson working around the corner gets corralled by a couple of bears. Dump back in Lady Knutson. As Norman was just pirouetting on top of the puck, couldn't find it. Lost it in his skates. Prolifka back to Lady. Lady looking for a heads ice pass. Newton got a stick on it. Now Norman and Willett will chase it down. Willett try to center it up for Gibson. That got shut down. Adkin works it around with Driscoll. Norman gets taken down. No call. He should work out. Passes on point. Driscoll shot right into the chest of Jack Hodgins. And we'll have a stoppage with 39 seconds here in the second period. White Bear Lake, they can give up as many chances as they want to Eastridge so far. But for Eastridge, they come few and far between as White Bear Lake continues just to pepper Jack Hodgins. You're th through just about two full frames. Bears able to win the draw. Welch back up to Gallatin. The Eastridge worked out. Pass picked off. Stannis was back door. Didn't get out. Didn't get all of it. And Hodgins was able to force it away. Soft pass. Going to wrap around the white bear like end. Cut off, Rappers still trying to work it into here. Just, they're forced along the boards and that'll end the second period. White Bear Lake now leads 3-0 after two goals by Borgstad. Eastridge still trying to find the back of the net so far. They've been close, but not close enough. We'll throw it to a short break here and when we come back, we'll have a breakdown on the second period. Ladies and gentlemen, get some snacks and we'll be right back with you. Ever hear the one about the frog? Put a frog in a pot of boiling water and it'll jump right out. But put a frog in a pot of cool water and slowly heat it up and that frog will boil. It's a lie. But as a metaphor for us and all that we go through as veterans, it's a story that rings true. We make excuses for how we feel. We push everything down. We tell ourselves the lie that it's easier to stay in that boiling water, to disconnect. And some days, maybe, it is. But you've never been interested in easy. 
Reaching out is hard. Do it anyway. You're not alone. You've got this. You are not a frog. Find resources at va.gov slash reach. Email from school. What about the incident today? Scary. Tell me about it. Did you have any idea that was going on? None. I mean, you saw Derek at the game last night, too. Did you have a clue? No, but you know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do. Kids hear first about what's going on with other kids. Half the time, it's rumors. It can be hard to tell sometimes, but if you have a concern about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, bullying, violence, anything, you need to tell an adult. Mom or me, a teacher, coach, school counselor, someone you know and trust. Dad, no kid is going to tell an adult about that kind of stuff. I get it, but if we don't know, we can't help. Speaking up about a problem, that's what helping a friend is all about. Man, it's lonely. Like, going through life lonely. There is the therapeutic aspect of music, just expressing how you feel. I'm going to talk to Howie about his feelings, make it into a song. You've done the hard part. You quit smoking. Now do the easy part and get scanned for lung cancer. If you smoked, you may still be at risk, but early detection could save your life. Talk to your doctor and learn more at savedbythescan.org. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our second intermission report here from Aldo Arena. After two periods, the White Bear Lake Bears lead the East Ridge Raptors by a score of three to nothing. We'll have some highlights here for you in just a second. And the second goal right away, we see Delaney backdoor feet. Driscoll right there, but it is Borgstad to find the back of the net. That'll be the first of Two goals Borkstad had this period. Borkstad able to clean up on the backdoor feed there. And then here for Borkstad had a little bit of time, a little bit of space, and he's one of those players where he can't have either because if you get him, if you give them to him, he will do just that. Borkstad has 20 points on the year. White Bear Lake leads the shot count 23 to 10. And saves Jack Hodges has played phenomenally so far. 20 saves to his credit, but it has been beaten by the Bears thrice so far. A lone power play to the East Ridge Raptors. They had, again, some phenomenal chances, just unable to find that back of the net. And for White Bear Lake, 
They've yet to go on the man advantage. Just the man disadvantage for them, and they are one for one on the penalty kill. So the Bears playing solid to Eastridge, nipping on the heels so far. And we should be taking a look at the Wiper Lake schedule. Got part of Cottage Grove, Woodbury, Grand Rapids against number four, Chanhassen. Chanhassen deadly so far at the start of the year, and then it is the rivalry. The biggest rivalry in the state of Minnesota, the White Bear Lake Bears take on Hill Murray. And there's a little bit of something added. It's on hockey day. Outdoor game, Hill Murray. Looks a bit vulnerable this year. They're four and seven on the year. Not typical of the Pioneers. So White Bear Lake, they're looking to down the Pioneers on the big stage. And then after that, it's Champlain Park, Creighton Dam, Eastridge again. Stillwater, Creighton. Rosemont and Blaine. So for the Bears, things are going to heat up at the end of the year. And for Eastridge, so far they've been able to turn things around. They got Roseville, they got Mountrew, then they got to play number four, the Mata Midai Zephyrs in Class 1A. Zephyrs always a challenge from the Metro East Conference. They go down to New Prague, up to Proctor, Coon Rapids, Park of Cottage Grove once again, then got Stillwater White Bear. That'll be a challenging week for the Raptors. And you got the rivalry with Woodbury to end the year. Hastings, the Raiders have been pretty strong. Roseville and then Robbinsdale, Armstrong, and Cooper. So for Easters, they got plenty of time to get some more wins on the board, better their seeding for section playoffs. And it's wild I'm talking about section playoffs. We're still a month and a half away. But we come back after the break. It'll be the final frame. It'll be the third period here on SEC Sports. We'll be right back with you. Dear moms and dads, we know it's not always been easy, and it's been a lot of hard work. What you have achieved here today is going to help us and our futures. It is why we are coming up on stage to collect your diplomas. Mom, love you all. graduate, they graduate. Visit finishyourdiploma.org to find free and supportive adult education centers near you. In life, there are things that suck, but we do them anyway. Family meals with your wife's crazy Uncle Eddie suck, but we do it anyway. Because the memories that we make with family are everything. Family photo sessions with matching outfits suck, but we do it anyway. Because finding those photos years from now will make you laugh and cry. And you know what else really sucks? Getting screened for cancer, but not as much as letting things go undetected or untreated. So do it anyway. Screening can save your life from cancer or even help prevent certain types of cancer, which will give you even more years of doing things that don't suck. For more information, visit GetScreenForCancer.org today. Mammogram, colonoscopy, pap test. You need to go screen for cancer. Hi, I'm EJ Williams for American Humane. For thousands of years, dogs have been our best friends in our worst times. Today, we're also learning that our best friends, millions of whom are abandoned each year, are often the best medicine when people are facing obstacles. To help both people and animals, organizations like American Humane have been working to harness the healing power of the human-animal bond, finding animals in need of forever homes and training them as life-saving service and therapy dogs to help our veterans, the elderly, and children overcome the daily obstacles of life. In this way, the rescued can become the rescuers. 
To find out how you can help give animals and the people they help a new leash on life, <laughs> please visit AmericanHumane.org. My dentist said I had to see an oral and maxillofacial surgeon because my wisdom teeth were impacted. I got them out and had an uneventful recovery. The pain was becoming unbearable. I didn't know that the roots of wisdom teeth can lengthen and become entangled around the nerves in the lower jaw. My surgery was more complicated and I had to reschedule my family vacation. One of my wisdom teeth never came all the way in. In my 30s, it started to hurt a lot. It was infected. My recovery took a week. I had a cyst around my impacted wisdom tooth. I was referred to an OMS to have it removed. I was so worried. I wish I would have taken care of this when I was younger. Some things get better with age. Your wisdom teeth are not one of them. Make an appointment with an oral and maxillofacial surgeon today to evaluate your wisdom teeth. When caring for your wisdom teeth, pain-free does not necessarily mean disease-free. Visit myoms.org to find an OMS near you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Aldridge for the third period of the White Bear Lake Bears and East Ridge Raptors hockey. After 35 minutes, White Bear Lake leads by a scoreline of 3 0. East Ridge Raptors, they've been close, but not close enough. Bears goaltender Leo Gabriel has been rock solid so far stopping everything the Raptors have thrown at them. And with a goal from Welch and two from Borkstad, White Bear Lake is firmly in control. But there have been times before where you can be leading by as many as three, if not more. You start to take your foot off the gas a little. Start to make some sloppy plays, make some mistakes. And that's where Eastridge is going to thrive and capitalize. They are not going to make it easy on you. You will have to earn it here. In this final period. Shots by the period. Eastridge up five in each frame. White Bear Lake 14 in the first, 10 in the second. Will be Charlie Olson on the draw. He'll win it back for the Bears. And for the Bears, they'll look to do more of the same. It chipped up the Borg stat. Will be collected by Davis Prolifka. And we'll see if the Raptors have made any small changes. Offside's going to get waved off. Thatcher had to pump the brakes. Cross, ice attempt, bears into the zone, pass a little bit behind. Will be Lanahan trying to go the other way. Lose it in his teammate's skates. Raptors pass deflected. They're going to have to regroup here. Elliott working his way up. Chipped up to Lanahan. Thoucher will grab the goal. Raptors will go for a line change. Will be Bell Isle with it behind the net. Fakes the initial pass. Just is up to a streaking road. Cross ice to Welch. Welch to Stannis, who just couldn't pull the trigger. Roll versus to Gallantin. This dead into the pads. I'm sorry, it's Eckerly. Eckerly diving save to keep it in, but Eastridge immediately chips it back. Icing waved off. Road with it. Over the standards will pick it up. Back to Road. Good stick lift there on the road. Welch nabs it in the corner. Cuts inside up the Welch up on top of the circle. And that attempt's gonna go to the way side for the Bears. Raptors line is gas to go for another change. Heads up pass to Welch gets shut down. Zuber had it for a moment up the widen, and a faceoff will be called. Well, the stoppage in play just seven minutes in. I'm sorry, 
three minutes in. As it looked to have been a hand pass. Hank Garrett on your screen there for just a moment. He'll be on the draw here for the Raptors. Garrett able to win it back. Bears can't hold the zone. Atkins will back step. Chipped off of Bell Isle, Ison waved off. Norman able to cut it off at the half wall. Willett working it around. Gibson has it behind the net, just caught in the skates. Gonzaga trying to work it out. Willett picks it up and it's gonna be covered by Hodgins as just squirted from the back board right into his crease. Hodgins not gonna risk anything here with his team already down by three. to play here. Second line out for the Bears will be Charlie Olsen on the drop. Olsen able to win it back. Just dead working it down low. Delaney. Gonzaga trying to work around with Stouffer. Mark Stad will pick it up. Bears looking to work around Olsen. To the point, Bell Isle's just gonna spin, dump it back in, not trying to do a whole lot with it, just trying to kill some time. Chip pass off the boards, Cohen. By himself, cuts inside, doesn't even hit the net. Does Gabriel let that one streak wide? Bears now going the other way with it, board set. Kept outside of the circle, shoots it anyways. Doesn't hit the back net, he'll get it ripped away from him in the corner. The younger Cohen, Grant with it. Cuts inside, drop pass to his older brother. Grant lost it for a moment. Player lost a glove as Knutes, and he'll pick it back up. Player zooms. This dad trying to get through a Raptor. Can't get it to go. Cohen shot hit the glass behind Gabriel. They sure just can get possession, but they're unable to do a whole lot with it due to the board battles and pressure by the Bears. Bears a well-oiled machine at the moment. And Hodgins will cover up here. And again, not taking any chances here late in the game. Jack Stannis yet to find back in the net. Stannis, 15 points on the year so far. There's Jake and Zach. Will be Brady Knutson on the draw. High shot will be collected by Hodges. There's a couple of like second and third of chances there. None of them able to find its way through Hodges. We see Galton take a high rising shot, bounce off the chest of Hodges, and three Bears are right there to try to swat it through. Welch circles down low over to Galton up top. He'll work it around the board. Stannis off the play chase. Welch with it up to the point. Eckerly shot deflected away. Galton will dump it down low. Stannis can't collect. Doesn't matter. Welch is right there. Road shot. Trying to pick the bottom right corner. A little too far wide. Shot in the skates of Welch. Has to fight through three Raptors. Can't get it. High clear attempt by Eastridge. Will get out. But the Bears collecting. They're immediately back in the zone. Crunching check along the board. Raptor knocked down. It's going to be a foot race the other way. Blake Cohen knocked down, couldn't get the pass over to Knudsen. Bears going the other way. Drop pass. Welch has to pick it out of the skate. Tress goes short, side back door was Gibson. Rhodes twisting shot. Not going to get there. 
Eastridge trying to take their time to break out. Welch almost picked it away. Now the Bears will regroup. Eastridge looking for a lane. They're unable to find anything. White Bear going the other way with it. Right up the middle was Devin Willett. Dash is going to get sliced away by Hodgins. And White Bear there just comfortable putting pressure on. I wouldn't say it's any more or any less than what we've seen in the first two periods, but it's consistent. And East, it's just enough for Eastridge just to get scrambled a little bit on defense. And it's just enough for the Raptors where they can barely handle it. Belisle shot eight up by Lanahan. Down low, Thoucher. Trying to get it off the boards, and that's going to go right into the bench of Easter. It took a wild bounce. Careened off the glass and somehow deflected into the bench of the Raptors. Only coaches had to duck and dive. 10 40 play here on the face off the Jack Hodges left. Will be Charlie Olsen on the draw here. Olsen. Gets it back to Borgstad. This high shot gets deflected again by Lanahan. Lanahan not afraid to get in front of any shots here. Borgstad fighting through two Raptors. Try, almost got pinched off. Has Delaney with him. Delaney picks it up. Can't get that to the point as that pass is intercepted. Neesridge breaks the other way. Cohen. Shot going to get blocked by a bare stick up into the netting. We'll have another stoppage of 10-11 remaining. See the first line come out for Eastridge here. Piper Lake undefeated when leading after two. It's a good position to be in when you can close it out in the final frame. Bears win the draw, Eckerly. Gets it up to Welch. Stannis had it for a moment. Eckerly to Gallatin. Pass intended for Stannis went through his stick. And Ison will be waved off. Aggressive forecheck. Muffed steps in. Can't get it up high to Stauffer. Off the glove of Prolifka. Welch backdoor feed the road who couldn't find it. Good look there from Rowe, just couldn't get all of it. Galton shot on net. Stannis couldn't get the back of the net. Welch up high, waits, fires, deflected away by Hodgins. Raptors go for a change, they almost get caught out here. Drop pass, numbers deflected away. And Welch, which feels like he's been on the ice forever, dumps it back in. Road down low, Hodgins covers up. And we'll have another stoppage with 9.04. Bears, again, more and more solid chances. Just can't find that fourth one to get on the board. And for Eastridge, they have yet to win a game this year, 0-4. When trailing after two, such a tough place to be in. When the sand in the hourglass begins to get low, you're more starting to worry about that rather than the play at hand. And Road had another chance to get the back net. He's unable to get unable to get it. Road, the assist, the lone assists on the opening goal from Welch. On that top line for the Bears, and speaking of, they're going to stay out there. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to follow us on, so, on all social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and right here on YouTube where you are viewing the stream. Where we cover games from White Bear Lake, Mata Vidi, Tartan. Every sport from start of the school year to the end, SCC Sports will be right there. Aiden Welch on the draw for Wiper Lake. 
He's able to win it, collect it, bring it to the point. Comes the back low for Stannis. Rowe trying to fork at it. And Easter will have numbers on the other side. They'll look to go the other way. Chip clear, batted down by Welch. Will be Distad with it. Gives it back to Belle Isle. Pass intercepted. It's Cohen. Drop pass to Lanahan. Cohen back in the corner. Trying to cut inside. He's on his backhand. Cohen waits, waits, right to the crease. Almost found the back of the net. Gabriel right there. And I believe is that going to be offsides? No, we're going to have a face off in the Bears' end. As Cohen just wait, wait, and waited some more. Had Lanahan back door, but it was disrupted by Gabriel. Galton with it, he'll dump it back. Crafters looking to maintain the zone. Will it chip it forward? And Eastridge will force it back. Stouffer to dump it in. Norman back to Gallatin. Gallatin waits for things to draw up. Gibson. Cross ice pass to nobody intended for Eckerly. He'll walk it in. Works around the perimeter. As Norman with him. Norman squeezed off the puck. Eastridge will collect. These are looking to break out. They will. They're going to get calls for icing here. And it feels like we're having a stoppage after every si almost 60 seconds exact of play. 7.08 remain here in the final period. White Bear Lake managing the game so far. East Ridge there. Again, they've been knocking on the door, just unable to bust it open. Driscoll will collect. Gets it stripped away by Cohen. Cohen waits, shoots, fires over the crossbar. That chance will go to the wayside. And Knudsen back door waiting. Driscoll walks us in, has Delaney with him. Olsen wants it, that's going to go off his skate into the netting behind the net. It's a good look there from White Bear. Olsen just couldn't get the pass in his wheelhouse. Top line back out for the Bears. See that second line out for Eastridge of Thoucher, Lanahan, and Grant Cohen. Thatcher is able to win the drop to Cohen through his skates, Lanahan. And that'll be immediately called for icing as Lanahan was on the wrong side of the red line. Leo Gabriel been stout tonight so far. As his Bears lead 3-0. That's going to go for another ice and lost it in the rafters for a moment. Bell Isle working around. There's Welch up to Stannis. Stannis trying to find Rodu who's in the slot. But had a Raptor in his way. Rodu going to try to go through three defenders. Couldn't find anything. Bell Isle gets a pass one. Waits with it, looking for a lane. Pass intended for Road gets chipped over by Welch. And the Bears will have to try once more here. Just over five minutes to play. That's going to go into the Bears bench. So faceoff will be to Jack Hodgins left here. Clock beginning to wind down. 
starting to question if and when Eastridge will take Hodgins out for a sixth attacker. Face-off draw going to be quickly sent out in neutral zone. Now, will it? Can't get the handle on it. Will be Eckerly to collect. He's going to wheel that around for Gibson. Gibson up to Norman. Pass intended for Willett just in front of him. Willett squeezed along the boards by Stoffer. Bears. Can't hold his own, just skips over Gallatin. And Eckerly trying to wheel that around for Willett. He'll collect skate through neutral zone. Try to dump it back to Gallatin. Buck just doesn't have the legs. Gibson works the zone. Norman behind the net. Tries to do his, his best to work in front. Couldn't find anyone. Hodgins gets a stick out. Tried to shut down anything low. Norm trying to work anything. Raptor struggling to get onto his skates. It's a puck caught beneath him. Galton by himself will just work some space. Shot up high, deflected up front. Hodgins was there. Galton quarterbacking this attack right now for the Bears. You see the forwards go for a change. As the Bears pinning it along the boards. Works it down low, shot deflected. And Hodgins jumps on top of it, get his team a change. As the Raptors looked absolutely gassed at the moment. Cole Wyden looking for a breather, finally does that third line for Eastridge trapped on the ice, it felt. Olsen wins it back, slapped away by Hodgins. Olsen going to take a tumble, trying to dump that puck back to the corner. Cohen with it. Chips it down ice. Muff will play chase. Cohen back, has it back. Tries to work it inside. Gonzaga forced to skate back, dump it in. Olsen up over to two. Olsen still has it, excuse me. Working it back to Delaney. That gets intercepted. As Delaney was going to have a great look if it was not for the East Ridge defender. Three minutes remain here. Borg set. Tries to go inside out on a Raptor. Delaney gets it back to Distat. Bella Hill doesn't get all of it. Back to Bella Hill. On the half wall, goes down low to the bumper. Belisle pushed off the puck by Brady Knudsen. Knudsen pinned along the boards, Distat. Over the board stand, that doesn't find its way through. Muth can't collect, we see Road has it. Road trying to go every which way, he's knocked down. Bears looking to kick it around, just under 2.30 to play. Backhand attempt. Hodgins dropped it for a moment. He covers it up as a stretch out with everything he has. And we'll have a stoppage with 2.11 remaining. Two eleven remain. Eastridge still trying to find on the board. Bears looking to finish the game off. Eastridge able to win the draw. Zuber with it, gonna dump it down. Cohen goes inside, shot, gonna go short. Cohen again, he just seems to be a magnet towards the puck. Road spins around trying to get away from this Raptor, he does. 
up to Welch. Welch, shot deflected by Lady. And have a whistle blown. Someone will be spending the rest of the game in the sin bin, I believe. And upcoming broadcasts on the 20th will be girls hockey. It will be the North Tartan TNT taking on the White Bear Lake Bears. And for boys hockey, the Tartan Titans will be taking on the taking on Chisago Lakes. And then on the 31st, it'll be Matamidi boys basketball. As plenty of happenings here for SCC Sports. We'll be with you all winter, all spring long. And it will be Driscoll to dump it back in as we approach the final minute of play. Icing waved off as there is a check along the boards. Final minute of the play at Hillmeyer. Shot going to go wide. Norman will collect. This third line for White Bears seeing plenty of minutes here in this final frame. Hodgins is going to collect, drop it down for his defenseman. The Bears will have possession once more. Joe Belle Isle pestered a little bit. Will be Norman to collect. Willett trying to get some space. He's going to get impeded by Thoucher. Right in front for Olsen. He's just going to get the handle on it. Willett down low. Tries to feed it back to Borgstad. Tries the last two goals for the Bears in the game. Bears looking for one more. Borsat Todrin gets shut down. Final stretch of play. Lanahan loses the puck, drop pass, and that's gonna do it. White Bear Lake shuts out the East Ridge Raptors 3-0 in a solid game. Nothing fancy from White Bear Lake here. It was all business as Goals from Welch and Borgstad do it for the Bears. And the Raptors will leave Aldridge empty-handed. And their winning streak will end here. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I have been Earnhardt Michael Jaworski. And I believe we'll be going to a short break when we come back. We'll have a post game recap and it was a solid game from both sides with the Bears on paper they were the better team 9 and 2 coming into this one they'll move to 10 and 2 now have a 6 game win streak under their belt Forest Lake Totino Grace Moundsview Forest Lake Tartan and now Eastridge have fallen to the Bears in their hot streak. And for Eastridge, their winning streak will end here. But there's still plenty of hockey left to play in their season. Before we end the broadcast, we'll look at some highlights. And this will be the opening goal. We see Rode with a great backdoor feed to Welch all by himself. That would put the Bears on the board first in the first period, then the second period, it was the Borkstad show. Delaney right to Borkstad on the back door, kicked safe by Hodgins, not in a good spot. And then it was Borkstad once again, time space, back of the net, beats Hodgins, glove side. And that would do it for the scoring here for the Bears. In the end, the Bears will win it out, move to 10 to two on the year. And ladies and gentlemen, for us here at SCC Sports, that's going to do it for us. For everyone in the production truck, the camera crew here in the rink, myself, Earnhardt Jaworski, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in the next one. Good night.